Why are you doing something, man? You gotta spin the knot so it's facing back towards yeah. that. All right, guys, be careful. This is a really exciting project um, to restore oyster reefs, um, which we found in a global assessment are we've lost 85% of the world's oyster reefs. So um, that's an alarming statistic, but we're trying to do something proactive and actually put some reef habitat back that allows oysters to, uh, to recover. And the third thing we're trying to do is motivate the community and show that large-scale restoration is actually something that generates jobs and uh, that people are really excited about. The Gulf of Mexico is actually kind of a bright spot among all of the, the regions of the world where oyster reefs are or were important but have, but have been lost. The, the Gulf of Mexico is actually a place where oyster reefs are still in fair shape. So it's a place where uh, a little bit of help can actually go a long way. It don't swivel. Well, they got nowhere to put it. Hold so. on. Here we go. Hey, hold, guys, hang hold, on. Hold, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> It's important to, re to restore oyster reefs both in the wake of the oil spill, but frankly there's been a hundred years or more of oyster reef and salt marsh and seagrass loss in the Gulf of Mexico that we're, that's the larger thing that we're trying to recover from. <laughs> Essentially every one of these volunteers has become um, an oyster reef restoration ecologist and a, and a coastal engineer uh, here for a day.